Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, we are looking at balancing redox reactions using the ion electron method. Let us look at the following example. SO2 plus MnO4 minus will give you Mn2 plus plus SO4 2 minus. Now, there are certain rules used for balancing uh, redox reactions using the ion electron method, and I've highlighted it here on the top right in green. And if you look here, we'll see that firstly we have to balance the oxygen, and we balance the oxygen by adding water, H2O. Then secondly, once we've done that, we balance the hydrogen by adding H plus ions. Then the next step will be to balance the electrons by uh, looking at the net charge on each side of the reaction. And when that is done, we multiply the relevant equation uh, to balance the electrons on both sides of the equations. And finally, we add the two equations together. Now let's take these steps one step at a time and you will realize how easy it is to balance equations using the ion electron method. So first here, before we balance the oxygens and the hydrogens, we have to see what are the two relevant parts of the equation, where the SO2 and MnO4 2 minus becomes Mn2 plus plus SO4 2 minus. So the equation, the reaction that takes place, the first reaction that takes place, if we have to pay them off here, we'll realize that uh, we see that first the uh, MnO4 minus ions are becoming Mn2 plus ions. Then the next step we see that the SO2 is becoming SO4 2 minus as we have written here down. Now as we said the first point will be to balance the oxygen by adding H2, H2O. Um, so if you look at the first equation MnO4 minus has four oxygens on the left and there's no oxygens on the right. So if we have to balance the oxygens, we will have had to add four water. So uh, to do that, we will add the four water as we see here. So you add four H2O on the right hand side of the equation. Then the next step would be to balance the hydrogen. And to balance the hydrogen, you add H plus ions. So we've got four H2O on the right. So that means we must add for 8H plus on the left hand side so that the hydrogens are balanced. Then the, st the third step would be to balance the net charge by adding the electrons. Now if you look at this equation we see that we've got MnO4 which is minus 1 and we've got 8H plus which gives you plus 8 and minus 1 so the net charge on the left hand side is plus 7. Then we see that the net charge on the right hand side of the equation is plus 2. So to equate the two charges on the two sides of the equation, we have to add 5 electrons on the left hand side. So that means we have a net charge of plus 2, um, uh, plus 2 on the left hand side and a net charge of plus 2 on the right hand side. So that will be uh, the equation for MnO4- minus becoming Mn2 plus by adding the water, the 8H plus and the electrons as we see there. Now, if you look at the second one, we see that the SO2 becomes becoming SO4 2 minus. So the first step again would be to balance the oxygen by adding water. So we've got two oxygen on the left hand side of the equation and we have four oxygen on the right hand side of the equation. So we need to add two more oxygen. So we add the two oxygen on the left hand side of the equation. So we see we add two H2O that we add on the left hand side. But by adding the two H2O, we are adding four hydrogens on the left hand side. So we have to add four hydrogens on the right hand side. And there we see now we have the case where the hydrogens are balanced and the oxygens are balanced. Now the third step would be to balance the equations in terms of the electrons. So we see that the net charge on the left hand side is zero because there are no ions in the equation and on the right hand side we see that we have a net charge of minus 2 and plus 4. So if you balance the electrons in this equation we will have to add two electrons on the right hand side of the equation. And we see that the equation is balanced in terms of the net charge on both sides of the equation. Now the next step says here we must multiply the relevant equation 
or the relevant equations to balance the electrons. Now, if you look at the first equation, we see that we have five electrons. And the second equation has two electrons. So to balance it, we have to have the same amount of electrons in the first equation and in the second equation. To do that, we have to multiply the first equation by two, and we have to multiply the second equation by five so that the electrons on both sides of the equation would be the same. So if we multiply the first equation by two, we have to multiply the M and O for minus by two and everything in that equation by two, and we see that the equation that we'll end up with is 2M and O4 minus plus 8 times 2 is 16H plus plus 10 electrons will give you 2M and 2 plus plus 8 H2O. And if we multiply the second equation by 5, we end up getting 5SO2 plus 10H2O giving you 5SO4 2 minus plus 5 times 4 gives you 20 H plus plus 10 electrons. And then the last step here, as we've said on the top right hand side, would be number five, add the two equations. Now that the electrons are the same, we see that the 10 electrons in the first equation can balance and cancel, well, will cancel the 10 electrons on the right hand side. So we'll be, we'll, we'll be left with two MnO4 minus here on the left hand side. And then if you look at your 16H+, plus, we have 16H+, plus on the left-hand side, but we've got 20H+, plus on the right-hand side. So we have a net charge of 4H+, plus on the right-hand side. So we'd have to write 4H+, plus on the right-hand side of the, of the equation here. And then we have 10 water on the left-hand side, and we've got 8H2O on the right-hand side. So we will have a net of 2 H2O on the left hand side. So we'll see that our final equation is as follows. Then we get 2 MnO4 minus and we'll get 5 SO2 which is on the left hand side of the equation and we'll have 2 H2O on the left hand side and on the right hand side we'll have 2 Mn2 plus and we'll have 5 SO4 2 minus and we will have our 4 H plus because we have 16 on the left and 20 on the right. And that would be the net charge, the net, um, uh, the net uh, uh, balancing of the, uh, the redox reaction using the ion electron method. And the equation, we see that the electrons on the left hand side and the right hand side will cancel each other out. So this is a very simple sum we see that if we follow the steps by first finding the relevant parts of the equation, and then balancing the ox uh, oxygen by adding water and balancing the hydrogen by adding the H plus and then adding the e electrons to create the net charge on both sides and then by balancing the electrons we see that if we add the equation we will get a net equation as we have here. So this is a simple example of using the ion electron method to balance redox reactions.